Welcome back. We are continuing our little video series on tools we use on the job. Not so much, I'm not gonna do a video on you know, your regular wrenches and all the other stuff, more of the specialty stuff that we use all the time. So just did a video on these cutters that are used for a fortress or slim duct. Um, I know we use them for fortress. I think they work on slim duct. I believe we used them for that. I don't remember exactly, but we usually use fortress. It's worked out really well for us for years. But also did a video yesterday on the Navic flare tool, and that tool is is really good. Uh, all these videos are going to be kind of shorter, which is fine. I mean, how much do you really cover in a specialty tool? You can show how to use it, and you know, kind of show if it works. But the reason I'm showing you the used ones, because like I said, we have two of these. Well, we also have two of these torque wrenches, uh, digital, made by Black Max. It looks like it's. BTLDTW, uh, made by CPS, Black Max. So this is what you get in the kit. Um, it has memory functions, which is really fantastic, and an adjustable head. It comes with a book. I'm sure there's some useful stuff in there. I don't remember what's in there, but I do remember that it does tell you how to put those settings into the torque wrench um, if you have you know something you're specifically using it for. In our case, it's ductless flare nuts, which these are generally what we use for. So, not an uh, overly huge tool. I'll give you a size reference, 15 and a half inches. The case itself is about 17. So, uh, for short reasons, if those numbers help you. Just like any other kind of standard adjustable wrench, you know, people understand how to use that pretty well. So on here, you get your power button, I'm going to move this closer so that you can see the screen even better, hopefully. So right now, we have our presets in. And I'm not sure exactly how well you're going to see it, because I have a very small screen on this GoPro. But if you cycle through the plus button here, it'll go through the different settings. And you can, you know, whatever your settings need to be. There's, uh, I believe, 10 presets, which is quite a bit. So that's your power button. I don't remember what that button is, but the book tells you. We pretty much turn it on and adjust and use it. Uh, this is a, a backlight. I kind of forgot I had that, to be totally honest with you. And then when you go to torque something, I'm just going to use this palette as a good point of reference. And be patient with me as I adjust the camera a little bit. Kind of hoping this shows up in the video i'm not entirely sure how well it will but what you're going to see is as you get close to the torque as you get close to the torque on there you're going to see it start to slowly beep i'm going to set it higher so see how it's uh starting to flash slow beep means you're getting close fast beep fast beep means you're pretty much there and then the red light and then there's a vibration um, in your hand when you actually hit the torque setting so really cool torque wrench uh, works really well we got a couple of these now there we go we got a couple of these now and you just the battery changing is right in the end Let me turn it off you just excuse me turn this cap here i want to say it's just double a's the batteries last so long, I don't remember what it takes. Oh, triples. Oh, yeah. Just triple A's. That battery might be starting to fail. It's been there for a while. So this is getting new batteries right now. <laughs> but, yeah, great tool. Um, when you start to notice that, uh, when the batteries get really tired, I've noticed when you're starting to put torque on something, um, all of a sudden the kind of display will disappear because it just it doesn't have the power in the batteries to maintain keeping itself on and you'll be like why oh, is this thing acting weird and you'll figure it out really quick that it just needs new batteries and then boom you're good to go other than that um that's it that's all i can think of do you gotta make sure these screws stay tight they do get loose every now and then after you do a lot of torquing it's like mine needs a little bit of snugging and uh that's it great tool it works fantastic and uh, we recommend it. 
have a good day and uh if, if these videos are helping you out please you know subscribe like it helps us to uh keep going doing these videos so that's it enjoy your day